some block that I had to free up some space there. But yeah, man, you know, what I was going into is um, iconoclasm. And what iconoclasm is, is when during the, uh, during the Renaissance era, you know, you had so-called black people ruling over there in Spain and in Europe and France, Germany, and all of those different areas for about a period of a little over a thousand years. And this was before the Renaissance era because before then, you know, you so-called white people were coming out of the caves. The Lord was bringing you out of that base state because, you know, before um, the, the, the so-called Renaissance era, you weren't in power, you weren't ruling. That's why you call it the Dark Ages. It was a dark time for you. You know, there's no historic, there's a period of time where Esau Edom was, um, you know, they were living like cavemen during that time. Once the Roman Empire fell, hey, that's what Revelations, the 20th chapter goes into. Matter of fact, we'll get that. You know, some of you guys out here that you know you want to get into the scriptures and that's cool but if you're going to get into the scriptures break them down the right way man you know you got guys out there still teaching that hell doctrine hey the heavenly father is um you know he can be harsh but he ain't that harsh man we're you know you're not going to catch hell here on earth and then you know you die and you go down under the ground and you get tortured for, I don't know, a thousand years. You know, that cunningly devised fable of hell is a false doctrine. If you're a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, you're in hell right now because you're not in rulership. You're under the, uh, you're under Esau Edom's rulership and you catch a hell under this man's rulership. We're in hell right now, you know? And when, we're come, when we come into power, that's gonna be their, their hell, you know? Hell is um, a, a, a state like, you know, a people in captivity is kept, they're in hell. Hell is like a condition, you know, or it can also represent the grave. But you know, when you, when you die, your spirit goes upward, like the scriptures say. Ain't nobody going to hell, man. Everybody goes before the heavenly father's judgment seat to receive judgment for the things that you've done in your flesh. And when you were reincarnated, you come back here on the earth, you play out your judgment on this side, you know? Like say you are, you know, you was a, 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 a wicked ass slave owner. You know, you die, you beat the hell out of your, you know, your slaves. You know, you, you perish, you go to the spirit world and the heavenly father, you know, you see, you, and it, you know, this is the Edomite's worst spirit, man. Imagine, you know, waking up in heaven and looking at a so-called black man on the throne. Cause that's what you, that's what everybody sees when you perish. Whether you can believe, whether you believe it or not, you know, that's what you see. So, you know, you uh, you get judged for the things that you, that you that you've done in your flesh. Hey, and then you rest. And when you're reincarnated, you play out your judgment here on earth. You know, when King Solomon was talking about the uh, the place of judgment, he saw that it was under the sun which is on this physical plane here and in in the, you know in this dimension <laughs> if you can receive that you know so this is where you play out your judgment because hell is the, the concept of hell is that you live on earth you do what you do and then you die and you go to heaven or hell oh man you play out your judgment here on earth everybody goes to the spirit world But, uh, what was I getting on, man? Or what did I remember? Because I had some, I had a few stuff I was on pool. So, uh, you know, I was going in the, into that hell time. Lord willing, it'll come to me, man. Lord willing, it'll come to me. Got that quick, but anyway, let's get into another prophecy. 
know, that, that's just maybe it wasn't that important to, you know, through the spirit for me to have to, to, to bring that particular topic out right now. But, you know, when you out here, man, the spirit of how you jumping around. But, you know, the main prophecy that's on the on the dinner table is Revelations 13 and 16, man. You know, and Elon Musk is going to spearhead that prophecy. He, eventually, everybody is gonna. It's, it, the law is gonna come to pass to where you're gonna get that that grain of rice sized uh, technology, either in your right hand or your forehead, or you will not be able to participate in this society as a whole, and that includes buying and selling. You know, Revelation 13 and 16 goes, and uh, it says he causes all, both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a right a mark in their right hand or in their forehead and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark no so that's 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 talking about the MOTB man that very chip is the MOTB you know hey and it's gonna become mandatory uh in the days ahead you know so that's when we're gonna have to rely solely on our faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shada to endure until the end because right now we have certain freedoms that we can uh, take advantage of man like going to the grocery store you know um, hey going going shopping going to the mall getting something to eat getting a pair of clothes or, you know ordering things online you pretty much can do what the hell you want right now but it's gonna come a time where you're gonna uh, be allowed to do things based on your social credit score. You know, pretty much, man, if you ain't a, a, a part of that one top 1%, a lot of freedoms are getting ready to be removed from the uh, American people, man. They're going to implement more draconian laws. You know, these things will shortly come to pass. You know, and you're gonna see, you know, it's nothing for them to literally shut this place down again like they did about four years ago. You know, you're gonna you're gonna see them take advantage of it. They're gonna create a crisis, another crisis, and they're gonna take advantage of it. Hey, you know, we got yeah, we got like two months until Trump is officially in office. When he gets in office, things are going to start moving quickly, man. Hey. Trump's gonna spearhead Jacob's trouble, as will Elon Musk spearhead the uh, 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 the MOTB. You know, Trump gonna uh, uh, you know do a full sweep on the Northern Kingdom that's here, and and somehow that'll end up trickling down to Jake too. You Southern Kingdom tribes, because you got a lot of um, you know. You got a lot of Levites that have been coming over here, a lot of so-called Haitians. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this place is pretty much stocked up for judgment, man. People are, uh, are, are breaking, they, they, they tripping and falling over, over each other to get over here, literally to be judged. You know? There are more uh, foreigners here in America than there has been in any other time in history. And why is that? You know, the Lord is getting ready to bring great judgment upon all these people that are here. The only ones who are going to make it out of this is the elect. The only way out for the elect is up. That's why we're hoping for that number. Because if we not, you know, uh, death and destruction is sure. So, you know, man, hey, we got small mundane problems, but we got to keep our eye uh, you know, on the spiritual issues that are at hand. You know, they gonna come down on us, they gonna roll on us, man. You know? They, they gonna come down and see step by step, you know, their new world order being set in place. You know, we're in those times, man. And Esau knows that he has a short time, so they're going to, to, to move with a warp speed. They, they're gonna, you know, hey, the Heavenly Father's gonna put the spirit on E to move things, uh, uh, you know, quickly. Things are gonna move forward very quickly going forward as far as prophecy is concerned. You know, for you Jakes out there that love 
to um, be a part of Islam. Hey, leave that to Ishmael, because where you need to be, uh, you know, getting your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from is from the scriptures. The scriptures talk about like you know how if you're into the scriptures. No one shall want you don't need the Quran. You don't need any anything else but the scriptures. The Quran isn't going in the prophecy. You know. But you know, hey man, hey, the guys who are into Islam, that's the blind leading the blind. You know, we're going to let you alone. We're not going to try to argue with you and debate with you. Because ultimately, we don't give a damn about you if you ain't a part of the elect. The elect are the only ones of the nation of Israel who are going to get it, and that's who we speaking for. You know, of course, the Lord tell us to come out here and teach this word to two-thirds, whether they will hear or forbear. But we know most of you niggas is hard-headed, man. And a lot of you jakes ain't gonna understand nothing but death. So it's useless to talk to you. That's why, the, you know, with, with, with a rabbit, it's like a rabbit dog, man. What good is he to you? You can't do nothing but put him down. Hey, and, and, and two-thirds will come back again through the elect in the kingdom. And they'll, they'll be born into a righteous situation with a righteous mindset. Because that's the, uh, the, the, the the most beautiful part of the new covenant is us never going off again because us going off is why we under captivity still to this day. So we're not in the new covenant uh, fully because that, like I said, the biggest part of the new covenant is getting those new bodies, those uh, extraterrestrial bodies, you know? Right now we have a, uh, a earthly body. You know, and the scriptures tell you, as we are born the image of the earthly, so shall we bore the image of the heaven. You know, so, hey, the men whom you looking down upon, you know, you see us out here, whether it's hot or cold or whatever it may be, you know, hey, Lord willing, we are those men, you know, hey, the glory is coming, is waiting on us, man. In the form of those new bodies, in the form of uh, us keeping the law, statutes, and commandments perfect. If we don't ever go off again, the Lord ain't got no reason to punish us again, man. Huh? You know? So it ain't. Uh, you know, you got a lot of guys that are, man, we gonna get women. Yeah, that's cool. But the best part of uh, us, you know, being, us enduring and making it to the end is getting those new bodies, man. You know what I'm saying? Brothers work out, you try to eat healthy as you can, but you know, we all catching hell. And hey, whether you an Israelite or, or a heathen of another nation, we all taking baths in fluoridated water, drinking fluoridated water. We all eating pesticides in the fruits, the vegetables. Everything is defiled, man. So, you know, it's not gonna be beneficial only for us, you know, being the Israelites, you know, getting the kingdom of heaven and having a righteous rulership established, it's going to be good for the earth, man. The earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. When we get, hey, when Yahweh Shah hit that reset button on the earth, you ain't going to see trash floating up from the ocean. You know, you're not going to have oil spills in the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and you, you, you know, you heathens and you two-thirds, you're not gonna be eating the shrimp that keeps the ocean clean. Or the crabs or the lobsters. Those are the scavengers of the seafloor, man. That's what they do. So you out there eating the shit, thinking it's a delicacy, thinking you doing your big one, and you really going the hell off, and you eating like a fucking animal, man. Shrimp, crab, and lobster is not a delicacy. It is literally a, uh, 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 it's, it's bottom feeder food. You know, so not only is, you know, Jake gonna eat the worst shit they can eat. Crab, shrimp, pork, lobster, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? You gonna eat that, you know, and um, you gonna call it a delicacy. That's, that's a two thirds of our people are bugged out of their mind. Like these rappers, these uh, basketball players. They've been fooled. Yeah, they got a lot of money, but they do not have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So though they are rich, they are poor and naked and blind. I'd rather be, you know, uh, just a regular Joe with this knowledge than to be a rich man and be a damn fool, man. You know, because you can't have both. 
hey, and 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 our people have gotten, hey, like like the uh, Snoop Dogg. He one of them guys, man. Snoop Dogg got lighters, food cookbooks, uh, cell phone covers, whatever the hell you can can think of. Snoop Dogg has his face on. It. This man is making a lot of money, but you know that's him getting his consolation on this side. All of these things are going to be burned away, man. Literally, you know. So you niggas that want to get your constellation on this side, go ahead and take part in this plastic, uh, plastic kingdom. You know, do it. Hey, do your big one, man. But just know that it's gonna be short lived, and you're gonna regret it. You know. That's Jake's problem, man. Jake want to get rich quick. We all want to get the hell out of captivity. You know, we all want to live uh, 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 royal, royally, but we got to wait for Yahweh Shah to do that, man. We got to wait for the Lord to come back and take Esau out of his power seat and set up the kingdom of heaven. And then all of these things will be added unto us, man. And your patience possessing your souls. Because those of you who have lost patience, you sold your soul for these earthly pleasures that will, you know, that they'll be with you for a season, but they won't endure. And neither will you. You know, you see what they do on the P. Diddy. Hey man, the, the elites who, who you know uh, were okay with him doing that until he sued that liquor company, they still doing it and getting away with it. And they putting him up as the face of it, man. The people who are over P. Diddy, who run the music industry. They the one that put him on in that lifestyle, and they still do it. They're heavy into it, man. So they using him as a pasty, as a scapegoat, to deter attention from uh, the attention from them, because they, these missing kids that come up missing every day, you know, they got them on milk cards, they got them in newspapers, they got them online. What about those missing children? What are, you know? What's going on with them? You know, hey, that whole thing with Epstein and these the, the super elite, the ones who everybody is worried, you know, people are worried about celebrities. These celebrities are lower luminaries, man. Yeah, they know what's going on. You know, they got a little bit of money. But, you know, the ones who are at the top of the top, they're the ones who are okay in all of the wickedness, man. And they're, you know, they're having the greatest portion of it. Seeing these celebrities get, you know, crashed and burned, that's just the tip of the iceberg, man. Because those missing children that come up missing, you know, um, hey, they're, they're, they're being raped, robbed, murdered, human trafficked. You know, all of these things are things that Esau is getting away with right now. But the Heavenly Father is going to, you know, uh, bring judgment upon them for all of their wickedness. You know, in the kingdom of heaven, you ain't going to have to, as a righteous man, you're not going to have to sigh and cry over seeing two sodomites walk up and down the street with each other, man. Hold hands and kiss them. Hey, because the things that we see here on the earth right now, it, it gives us a vexation of spirit. You know? So, man, it's, it's, it's not easy being righteous in a world that is literally established on wickedness, man. And that's what you have here in Babylon the Great. You know, the Lord is going to deliver, hey, Ezekiel 9 and 4, you know, the Lord is going to uh, set a mark on the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Revelation 11 and 8, Revelations 11 and 8 tells you that this is, this place is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. So all of the degeneracy, debauchery, all of that, you know, um, all of that starts here, and and, and it's spread upon, uh, uh, you know, across the four corners of the earth, man. You know, but this is the center of all of that. Yeah, man. You know, it's cold, man. You know, but hey, I want my crown. You know what I'm saying? That's what we in this thing for. You know, I like to uh I like to watch, you know, Kobe Bryant 
highlights. You know, I, I'm a Kobe Bryant fan. You know, the thing with Kobe Bryant is, you know, he was about uh he was about his uh his his uh his earthly crown, which it was a corruptible crown, but he was about those championships, man. You know, hey, Kobe Bryant was about those getting those wins, and that's how we gotta be, man. You know, hey, this is this is a race. You know what I'm saying? That we in, and we gotta finish this race, man. Finish our course. You know, for for that incorruptible crown. You know, cause you know you got guys out there, man. And some of these athletes, hey, they're they're incredibly talented, and most of them are jakes. I, I go as far as to say all of them are great. You know, they're so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, uh, that, that 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 are in the NBA. You know, your your top actors, your best cooks, your best. Uh, you know, college students you know that's jake that's us you know but uh yeah man we in that spirit of uh enduring hey officer how you security gun shots right around this area uh no sir okay all right man yeah Thank you. No problem, officer. But said, yeah, man, you know, we're we're doing this for an uh, an incorruptible crown. You know? In the book of Second Ezra, you know, what Ezra saw was uh he saw Yahweh Shah, you know, putting crowns on the heads of the elect. You know, and what were what was one thing that Ezra said? Ezra was commending the elect for uh, standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, man. You know, and that's a, that's a big part of this truth. You know, you got newcomers, you know, people who are catching on to the video. So, you know, I'll try in, uh, in my future lessons, you know, exhort the names of Yahweh and Yahweh shot. You know, Yahweh is the name of the heavenly father. Bahashem means coming in the name of, you know, and um, Yahweh Shah is the, the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, man. That's who we uh, we teaching those names. You're not gonna hear the true men of the Lord teaching in the names God and Jesus Christ, because the true men of the Lord, the heaven, the, the names of the Heavenly Father and His Son have been revealed unto them. Yeah, man, you know. Police rolled over here and asked. I'm, I'm thinking they're gonna tell me to, to get on. I was getting ready to pack it up and leave, you know. <laughs> Jack don't want no trouble, man. Hey, when the what the scriptures tell you, man, agree with thine adversary, you know, hey, quickly, rough and paraphrasing that scripture. You know, brothers, you know, you get into some, some police contact, man, just hey, see what they want, man, and, and, and plot. How about some y'all shot got us though, man? You know, we're not out here doing an evil work, man. You know, you know we're out here doing a, 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 a good work, you know, teaching this word, man. So, you know, we, hey, and, and they see that, man, but the elite still gonna roll on us anyway. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we not bringing no harm to nobody. We, we out here with Bibles in our hands teaching, you know, so you guys out there that's, you know, pretty much making this truth a, 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 a game, you know what I'm saying? You got guys want to bring camp, uh, guns to camp and get in the fights at camp. I mean, it can happen if you got to defend yourself, defend yourself. But I've also seen brothers, hey, you want to damage my phone and you want to come up here and, and, and start shit, man, I'm going to call the police over here, man. You know, sometimes you might have to do that. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, the uh, it's an old video, man, of uh, Elder Anap by Ayash. You know, the the uh, the elder from uh, GMS Indianapolis, man. He was down there with the Zaquan from uh, North Carolina. This was some years ago. I don't even know if that video is still up, but hey, uh, the Zaquan, man. Hey, 
you know, the elder brother, he got down on this on this Edomite man that was giving him shit. You know, Edomite put his hands on on the, on the elder, and the elder, you know, laid some strokes on him, man. And in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, I remember him saying, you know, kicking that kicking that Edomite's ass, man, and, and saying, you know, hey, in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, hey, that's how that's how you supposed to come as a man of the Lord, man. Hey, because when we get those spiritual powers, we ain't gonna be just, yeah, you know, uh, I'm the big guy. We're gonna give our presence on the glory's due to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You no. Know? But you know, hey, sometimes that's 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 what you gotta do, man. You gotta get down. You might have to get down that camp and defend yourself. You know, the elder brother uh Murph. Uh, Yarmiah from GMS Chicago when I first came into the truth, me and the other brother, you know, he was schooling me. You know, we was uh we was we was talking and he had went into how hey they had to they had to put some uh 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 some 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 guys down up there in the GMS the Chicago camp, man, before. You know? So it can happen. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do you might have to do what you gotta do sometime. But you know the men of the Lord, man, we ain't no punks, man. You know, we we try and um 